Good morning, Titans. Today is Friday, September 13th. I'm Jamie Hughes. And I'm Brooke Carrick. Brooke, are you superstitious? A little, why? Because it's Friday the 13th. It's considered unlucky by Western superstition. Everyone needs to avoid walking under ladders, spilling salt shakers, stepping on cracks. You get the idea. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Jamie. You and your superstition. I'm just watching out for my fellow Titans. Yeah, well, let's get the show started. This week, Club Rush Week, has been taking place during both lunches by the outside stage. Reporters Lexi Ho and Leah Roundsville put together this report about the clubs you can join here on campus. Gaming for a Cause is a new club this year, and it uh, we've had 91 signups already. It's pretty crazy. And uh, if you haven't checked us out, come visit us at lunch and check out our table and sign up. Uh, basically, we're a club that holds gaming tournaments uh, twice a month, and you you pay to enter. And uh, five dollars goes to the uh, cash pool prize for the payouts for the first uh, top three winners and uh, the other five dollars goes towards uh, charity and cancer research and really cool stuff like that. The club hosted the annual fall blood drive on Wednesday with Blood Source Blood Bank. Titans, you donated 149 pints of blood making for a very successful blood donation. Reporters Marianne Sargis and Hannah Flugstad were there. So today is the first blood drive of the school year. Um, we have two blood drives a year. We have a fall one and a spring one, and today is the fall one. Um, the, the main reason we um, hold blood drives at our school because there's a lot of need for blood, such as for like blood transfusions or when people have accidents and they lose a lot of blood. Um, we host it so people can donate blood, and then that blood goes straight to blood banks, and then when there's a need for blood, take it out, and we can give it to patients that really need it. Starting next week, college representative speakers will visit our campuses to talk about their various colleges. Reporters Chris Howe and Tiana Land talked to College and Career Center Supervisor Ms. Patty Lee to learn more about it. I schedule a lot of uh, universities and admissions officers to come in to the College Career Center um, to offer information about their campus to all of our students. Uh, the kids just have to come in, sign up on the clipboards, get a pass and have it signed by the teacher uh, that they are in at the time frame. On September the 16th, I, am, I have about nine campuses coming to visit. If you check the bulletin, the list of schools is there. Um, University of Nevada, Reno will be here. Um, Arizona State will be here, Purdue. There is going to be a huge college fair on September the 23rd. Uh, over 150 schools and almost every CSU, every UC you can think of will be there. All seniors, college essay prompts have arrived. Reporters Chris Howell and Alex Bittner talked to counselor Mr. Brian Hewitt for more details. Seniors, it's uh, Mr. Hewitt in the College of Counseling Center. Um, for you guys that are going to be applying to the UCs, remember, there's a prompt. There's a personal statement you need to write. thousand words, two prompts. You can Google UC personal statement and read what the prompts are. You need to start working on it. Get a draft, have your English teachers look at it. In addition, come on, on October 3rd in the library from 6 to 7.30, we'll be doing a, a workshop on the CSU and the UC applications. We'll be talking about the personal statement there. Get to work on those. Seniors, there are 125 out of you out there who have not scheduled your senior portrait. You need to call Prestige Portraits at 916-535-7797 and schedule your portraits now. Pictures are due by October 5th, or they will not appear in the yearbook. Now over to senior Aaliyah Roundsville in the Sports Corner. Okay. I'm Aaliyah Roundsville with this week's Sports Corner. The girls' varsity water polo team has a tournament at Sierra College today and tomorrow. The boys' varsity soccer team hosted Casa Roble on Tuesday and completely thrashed the opposing team 15 to nothing. Brooke Carrick was out at the soccer field to cover the story. Fans took on Casa Roble. 
In the first half, the Titans started off fierce, scoring seven goals, and the Cast and Roble Rams scoring none. Starting off the second half, the Titans scored eight more goals, with junior James Ramos scoring four goals and Brian Perez with three goals. The Titans finished with 15 goals total to nothing. Good job, Titans. Make sure to come out and support your varsity boys soccer team. I think I did pretty good because my teammates helped me out with the passes and everything. And without them, I wouldn't be able to score my four goals. So I think our strengths were that we had good through balls and we successfully finished each opportunity that we had on goal. So we played Casa Roble and we won 15-0. Um, some of our strengths were that um, we played a lot of like through balls and um, everyone was pretty focused at the beginning. In other sports news, the girls varsity volleyball team traveled to Natomas High School yesterday, beating the Nighthawks three games to none. Last night, the freshman football team traveled to Rio Linda and demolished the Knights 44 to 6. Tonight, the JV and varsity football teams will also be traveling to Rio Linda. JV will begin at 5.30 and varsity at 7.30 p.m. Last week, the Titans hosted Monterey Trails, going to 21 to 32. Reporter Chris Howell filed this highlight package. The Titans took on the Monterey Trail Mustangs on Friday, September 10th in their first home game of the season. <laughs> The Mustangs got off to a great start with an early touchdown and lead. Antelope responded with a touchdown of their own to tie the game at 7. By halftime, the Mustangs had built a pretty good lead at 20 to 7. Trey Nahas up the middle, and that's a Mustang touchdown. However, the Titans fought back with Mr. Harrell scoring a highlight reel touchdown to cut the lead to 20 to 14. After a great job by the defense, the Titans got the ball back and drove down the field being led by Mr. Ariel. Ariel finished the impressive drive with a touchdown to take the lead 21-20. With the time on the clock winding down, the Mustangs broke through and took the lead 26-21. They continued to score another touchdown and led 32-21. The Titans knew there was still hope and Mr. Harriel had a nice return to keep the dream alive. Tyler McCombs continued this with an impressive 48-yard run to put the Titans at the 11-yard line. The Titans could not get into the end zone and fell to the Mustangs, 32-21. to Hope to see you tonight at Rio Linda. As you can see by my cheer uniform, I will be. Now back to Jamie and Brooke. Thanks, Celia. That's all we have for you this week. Be sure to tune in next Friday for the newest episode of Titan TV News. Good luck, Titans, and have a great weekend. And watch out for black cats. Bye. Bye.